What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Hidden Heights Farm. It is super, super windy today. We got a nice warm fall day. So that brings in some southern, southerly winds, but we got stuff to do. I am fixing to load up the uh, one ton Dodge. I got something to show you here with a bunch of tools and we're gonna head down to the lake property and we're gonna start putting rafters on that 100 year old uh, rock building. So let me show you guys something here. This is the lumber that I custom ordered from the sawmill. And before I get started with all this project and stuff, hopefully you guys can hear me okay. I know it's super windy, but it's fine. I wanna show you guys something. So uh, I ordered some custom two by fours right here. And these are two by sixes. And when I say two by, I mean it. These are two inches by four inches. I had to go to the lumber yard and buy some uh, lumber, just some lumber that they mill up every day now that you go by at the lumber yard. This is what they call a two by four. I'll let you guys be the judge. In the old days, this is a two by four. New days, this is what they look like. And let me tell you something, the quality it's so much better when you can go to like a, a smaller sawmill, like a local sawmill, and you custom order your stuff. They will make sure that they get you good cut stuff. If there's bad pieces in it, they won't even sell it to you. Let me show you the difference here. I just left a uh, big chain lumber yard because I needed some regular 2x4s for something. Well, let me show you. that The guys loading me up had a hard time even finding any good ones to put on the truck. And when I show you these, these are the best ones out of the stock that they had. Look at this. This is what I had to settle for. Tons of knots, just, you know, not good quality stuff at all. Now, some of them's not too bad, but they're bowed. They're not, they're not good at all. Now, this is kiln dried. This is green cut. It's still kind of wet. So there's going to be some of these that are a little bowed. Um, there's going to be some that bow on me and all that. But... This is rough cut lumber. You can see the saw marks. This is what we want. We want it to look rustic for that 100 year old building down there to kind of match the rafters that it had in it. But anyways, uh, that's it. So uh, my dad's gonna be coming to help me today. I, I'm gonna set some cameras up and try to film what I can. You guys can see how windy it is. So um, we're gonna try to be safe. We're gonna take a couple lighters down there. Hopefully it's not way windier down there on the lake and uh, blow us over or something but i'll have the uh, cameras rolling i don't know how much talking i'll be able to do because i want to get this done uh, once we get the rafters on then we'll put the decking on but first we gotta get down there and we gotta start tearing down the old rafters um you guys seen i tore the old decking and the shingles off but most of those old rotten rust rafters are uh, i almost said rusted those old rotten rafters are still up there we gotta tear them down so I gotta get everything loaded up and then uh, we'll see you down, guys down there. All right, so just a little update. We have made it down here to the Old Rock building and just a little update to show you guys what we're working with and what we're gonna be doing. So as you can tell, all these rafters, well that's some, of course you can't see that now. Some light, let me go inside. The rafters on the west side of this building are all pretty rotten because the roof blew off and I don't know it was up there without a roof for like 20 years or so so all these rafters are good what we're gonna be doing is tearing off all these old rafters I'm gonna try to do it one by one um, this ridge beam up here I think they're all marked on center where those uh, two by fours go so what we'll do is we'll just do one at a time mark them put them right back in the same place and just go from there but like i said it's super windy so we're going to be really careful today working with the with these ladders up in this wind gotta be safe so i'm gonna set up set up everything and uh get started i brought the table saw because since these are regular two by fours i might need to rip some down for some other things so i went ahead and brought the table saw just in case um, always try to uh, think ahead and work smarter not harder I don't want to have to make multiple trips back home so just load it up and bring it just in case we need it but let me come over here and uh, I know I was just down here the other day and showed you guys in the video but let me show you guys some of the foliage that we got going on here's our deck that we built temporary deck 
sun is shining bright. Alright, so uh, I came down here the other day and these trees was not quite that colorful. But look at them today. We got a lot of color going on. All the way.
come. Huh? Yeah, we come. It all come down? Huh? It all come down? Talk about the depth of this here. We're gonna to have to. Yeah. Well, this ain't bad. It ain't too. Nah. I was, I was it looks like they had some room to give on theirs too. Now this is loaded. Come on. Get your ankle up. Go from the top. Get the top right. All right, let me have it.
here. Let me raise that up. That angle is too much.
All right, I want to show you something real quick. That's the sun, and it's about to go down. We have been down here all day long, and this turned into a lot bigger project than I had uh, figured is going to be today. Here's all the scrap stuff and all the old rafters we tore down. Let me turn around and show you guys what we got done. New rafters on this side. We got these new, uh, I don't even know what those are called. It's like, I don't even know. I'm not even going to try to say the name. And you can see we got all new. We got those bird blockers or whatever they call those. All good. We had to replace every rafter on this side. It's pretty much everything. You can see all the way up. We just now started picking stuff up. We got the truck loaded back down. Um, you guys remember that old USB or USB OSB board was right there. That is gone now. Um, we got a couple pieces. We still got to I'll show you guys real quick. So you guys see how this is an open hole. This ridge board is not resting on the concrete. Over here, the ridge board is on the concrete, so it's holding all the way up on the concrete. Over here, there's not. There's a gap. So we ran that board right there on um, the second rafter down. It's resting on the concrete. So a lot of that weight on that ridge board is on that rafter. It's on the concrete. Over here, we were going to do the same thing, but there's like a high spot in the concrete, and we couldn't get the board to go underneath where the OSB will be. So basically, the decking would be too high right there. And uh, we, all we really need to do is rip a rip a board down. I got one already cut. I'm gonna take it home and get the table saw. We used the table saw to rip down a bunch of stuff. Let me show you. So we ran out of the two by fours like this, and we needed a lot of those bird blocker boards. So we started ripping down these two by sixes because we had extra. And let me show you where we use those. We put these cross ties collar ties, whatever you want to call them, all the way on every rafter. So that should strengthen it up quite a bit. So I'm not too worried about this right here. All these rafters are pushing against each other. We're just going to put another rafter right there that's on the concrete to take a little of the weight off. And then over here, we had to replace a few rafters on this side. We put all new of this board, whatever this is called again. And I had to do one, uh, bird blocker right there so we ripped it down to fit and then over here new rafter on the outside and then I think a new rafter on this side because once we took that trim piece off yeah when I say it's windy I'm not lying it got windier and windier throughout the day but whenever we took the trim piece off of this uh, last rafter right here, it was actually rotten right up there on the ridge. So we had to uh, fix that and replace it. So that's why we're a little short on these two by fours. And since these are custom cut straight from the sawmill, you can't just run the lows and get another two by four. So we have to kind of make our own with two by sixes that we had left over. So uh, my dad's still here. He's, did you know you're going to stay this long? No. Huh? I didn't. I thought it was going to be a couple hour job. <laughs> I knew it would be longer than a couple hours, but I didn't know it was going to take this long. Well, we got it pretty much done. The hard part anyways. So let me back up and show you guys what it looks like. I meant to uh, bring my GoPro. Actually, hold on. I did bring my GoPro. I forgot to bring an SD card, so I just stayed in the truck. Um, I need to bring my drone down here. Well, the trees are still pretty and then I'll kind of give you guys an aerial view of the rock cabin and the new rafters and everything but I think it's gonna turn out great now we just gotta do a couple little things and then get the decking on there so anyways hey tell my dad thanks because without him I wouldn't have been able to do all this especially safely on the ladder so he watches the videos and read the comments so tell him thank you from Kevin and uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And um, I know this was a little bit of a video where I didn't 
bring the camera along all the time and just talk on every little thing we were just trying to get things done i did not have any time to carry the camera around and we still barely got done by dark so uh thank you guys for sticking around if you made it this long in the video thanks for subscribing watching all our videos and uh please leave a comment like this video and we'll see you on the next one